Hey guys, welcome to day one of the 30 day decluttering challenge. I am following the Clutterbug 30 day challenge. I will be doing this every day for the month of March. And I am just so glad that I found this uh, website, clutterbug.me. She, Cass, or Cassandra, is absolutely wonderful. She has designated your personality to a clutter bug. I happen to be a ladybug, but I truly believe I am a cricket. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I put the link below so you could find out which bug you are based on your personality, and perhaps it'll help you organize your home a little bit better. So day one, here we go. Let's dive underneath the sink. And okay, so I do have my cleaning supplies under here. Uh, half empty, almost empty baking soda. Uh, some things that really don't need to be down here and some things that I just simply don't need in the house period. They're more of garage items. So I'll just be going through these and deciphering what needs to stay here and what needs a new home. I keep my microfiber here on, um, they really need a better, a better way as well. I have tried, this is my first um, gadget to store my um, sponges and brushes and different things like that. This one didn't work um, like I had dreamed. The second one also hasn't worked like I'm dreaming. I do have a third one on the way, so maybe I'll find a uh, something to do here. I just replaced this brush. This brush is perfectly good to perhaps throw in the bathroom for the, my bathroom cleaning supplies or even in the garage for car cleaning supplies as well. I think I'm going to put it in the bathroom for now and if I don't use it by the summer, I will put it in the garage. Uh, this is empty. I don't believe I'm going to be using this, so I will recycle it. This might look to you like a cookie cooling rack. However, I use it to dry my dishes so they uh, get some airflow underneath them and can dry on all sides. I do use this pretty regularly if I have an overabundance of dishes that don't fit in my dish drying rack. I keep a clean plunger, clean, so nobody is tempted to use a dirty plunger in the kitchen sink. So I will be keeping this probably in the sink. Okay, I bought these at uh, Costco, so I still have plenty left. I will fill up, uh, I guess, my decanter box perhaps um, in just a second. And last but not least, my magic erasers that I have quite a few left. So I have three whole ones left. Okay. This is going in my garage sale bin. I will be doing a garage sale in June and I will definitely have my videos of how to do that. I try to get the most natural um, supplies, but when my family came down with a cold of some sort this uh, winter, we went with the bad boys. I have had this for years and I haven't used it yet. This is definitely going either by the hose or in the garage. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I did get this Method dish soap from the Grove Collaborative. I will have a link below. If you have not gone to the Grove Collaborative yet, you can get a free gift by clicking the link in the description. So I bought this on the clearance rack. I don't say I particularly use sponges, but I have been getting back into the habit. I kind of call it a bad habit because they're not, they're not really um, reusable per se. So I have been getting these walnut ones from the Grove. This one is super old, so I'll just go ahead and toss that. And another uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. 
I actually use this outside in the garage more than inside, so I think I will put that in the garage pile as well. Okay, I keep a old toothbrush in the kitchen. I mean, it works so good if you just dab a little bit of baking soda, you can really get around some cracks and crevices that you didn't know were dirty until you grab the toothbrush out. Let's see, I also have a glass cooktop, so I do keep this glass cleaner and use it pretty often. A little pouring spout. This is for my glass cleaner. Now that this is empty, I am just gonna wipe it out. This is from, I don't know, it's Sterilite, so it's probably from any regular store, Walmart or Fred Meyer or whatnot. And this has been great. I do need another container for those microfiber cloths so I can keep those in a spot as well. So I'm just gonna use an all-purpose spray. It's not that bad. If it were a little worse, I'd probably use the sink and some dish soap. So before I get too far, I am going to show you guys inside So my sink is in the corner and I took this contact paper and just stuck it right down where I'm going to see the most of it. It makes it look so much nicer. And I'm just gonna give a quick spray onto that contact paper. So I know that I'm not putting my items back into something weird. Okay, so now I'm just going to fill up this container again. Definitely gonna put the disinfectant spray and my all-purpose spray, the sponges, the plunger, my glass cooktop cleaner. There's almost none of this oil left, but it is for cutting boards, wooden cutting boards. This sponge here for my glass top, the toothbrush back in. I think the CLR is fine here in the kitchen. There's really not a better place to put it. The baking soda I use all the time for cleaning. I put it in really messy pots and pans. It works wonders. I just actually keep this closed like you see here and sprinkle it on. And more sponges. Uh, this I use to fill up my steam mop and my iron. And this doesn't fit in that container, so I'm just going to put it to the side. Everything else I'm going to put into the bathroom, except for the microfiber. Let me go get another basket for those. Okay, so I do know the basket, or at least I have one in my mind of what I want for the microfiber cloth under here. But in the meantime, I did find this box. The basket, I would have to go to the store, dollar store perhaps, and get it. So I'm just going to stack these up here. I do have my microfiber cloths color coded a little bit. I have the brown for the microfiber sofa. This gray one was actually given to me. It was actually the start of my microfiber addiction. I only have microfiber for cleaning. I do use cotton for the most part, but I got most of these from Chemical Guys because they were the best price. I could definitely link that below in the bottom. I'm just gonna tuck this over on the side. I'm going to put the box of cleaning supplies in the same spot as well. That's all I'm going to put back in here. Everything else that I took out is going to go to its rightful spot. 
So let's go up on the counter and do what I'm going to do with the dish soap and the dishwashing detergent. All right, you guys. So like I said, I have this dish soap. I'm going to simply replace it right over here on my dish caddy. Okay, so this cutesy patootsy guy is actually a bubble up dish brush from the Grove Collaborative. And by depressing it, you actually get bubble suds on it. So I just filled that up today. I no longer need to add the soap, but I would like to use this because it is our favorite. So before I had these pumps that are somewhat classy looking, I do have this pump that is already in my sink. Hopefully we will be getting a sink before the season changes. But for now, this is what I have. So I'm just going to fill it up the rest of the way with this. We do still use it a lot. So yes, I could get a little bit more soap out of here. Before I recycle these, I do like them to be clean of soap so it does not spoil a batch of plastic. What would be worse? So I am going to put a little bit of water in this and I will use it to actually soak some dishes in the future until it has completely been cleaned out. There's no reason to just dump this down the drain. It's perfectly usable. And that should take me about two days to use. And I will either find a use for it or recycle it. And you can see right over here, this is the second try at finding a dish brush holder. I use this brush way too often to get rid of it. And finding something to hold it is seeming to be impossible. Like I said, I do have that other item from the Grove Collaborative. We shall see if it will work. So this is the last thing that I had that I'm working on <laughs> emptying. Costco things last forever. If you are not 100% sold on an item, you might not want to shop at Costco. Not saying that I don't like this, this is working perfect. But this is what I have chose. Cute little wooden box for my dishwashing tabs. So I'm simply going to fill it up some more, get on the route to emptying this larger container. And of course I wouldn't want this larger container in sight. And if I have a reason to use one of these little cute containers, there's less of a reason for me to throw it away. you guys 15 minutes is up thank you for staying with me i hope you did this decluttering challenge as well meet me again here tomorrow life on the clothesline so we can get another spot decluttered this is the quick decluttering i know that you probably have some larger rooms and larger <coughs> and larger spaces to declutter <coughs> Some larger rooms and larger spaces to declutter, but we can do that in a different time, a different place. Right now is either scratching the surface or finishing up some things that you haven't touched in a while. So if, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.